vulnerable to anger or to the lust of the flesh or pride or something else? What are your weak, your weak areas? So whatever your weak areas, you have to be strong on that. You have to practice to be strong on that weak area. Mm -hmm. Now, New Year is coming. Everyone says, my New Year's resolution is to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard that? Oh, yes. Every oh, year. But when you see a lot of food, you cannot resist it because Brother Aaron cooked good for Sunday. Yes. You see? You know, that's weakness, that weaknesses that we have. We cannot resist it. Why? Because we need to control. <laughs> we don't have that control. Next Especially day. if it's like, oh my God, it smells good. <laughs> next day. Right. Next day, yeah. Uh, maybe next oh, time yeah. I die. Yeah, yeah, day. <laughs> when Nehemiah heard that his enemies wanted to attack the Jews who were helping to rebuild the wall in Jerusalem, so what did he do? He stationed people behind the lowest section of the wall. He has to study. He has to study where are these enemy coming, that going through. Is, is this door or this door or below the wall? Mm -hmm. So what does it say in Nehemiah 4.13? It says there, therefore I position men behind the lower parts of the wall because he knows that the lower part of the wall is the easiest way where the enemies can get in. So I have to put a lot of people here with weapons. At the openings, see at the openings, the doors, and I set the people according to their families with their swords, their spears, and their bows. Mm -hmm. You cannot go to the war if you're a soldier without your weapon. Amen. Otherwise, you like you went for suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> You have the sword, the word of God, my brethren. That's why we're always listening to the word of God. That's why we're always reading the Bible. Because when you go to the battle, you know what to get and throw to your enemy. Mm -hmm. The enemy said, you are weak, you are sick. And what are you going to say? I am healed by your stripes, O Lord. Amen. Amen. When the Lord said, when the enemy says, you are poor, you don't have money. And you will say, the Lord said, I will supply all your needs according to my riches and glory. Amen. So you have to enforce where your weaknesses are, my brethren. If your weaknesses is about your spiritual, come every Sunday to the church. Amen. Do something for the church. Hallelujah. Maybe an area in your life needs some reinforcement. Or a lot of reinforcement. Mm -hmm. To resist discouragement, you need to reorganize. Reorganize. Mm -hmm. If you have your closet not organized, you have to reorganize it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes when you reorganize your closet, you can find something that's valuable in your life. Yes. Yes. So you have to, to reorganize your closet and reorder a few things. You have to put them in order. Remember, God is a God of order. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you in debt? Then recognize your budget. Amen. <laughs> Are you out of shape? I just told you earlier. <laughs> you have to diet. <laughs> you have to reorder also your lifestyle. Don't give up in your weak areas. Instead, we enforce them. Don't just say, oh, I'm weak of this okay. No. Because you know what? That weakness in your life, in your spiritual life, that will be the door for the enemy to enter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't put any hole or anything that the enemy will take advantage and the enemy can enter in your spiritual life, yeah, yeah. even in your physical. Don't give up. Instead, we enforce them. Let us look at 2 Corinthians 12, 9, and 10. My El Shaddai, Lord, that, that, that is our El Shaddai. Yes. When you say El Shaddai, what does El Shaddai mean? God of more than enough. We should know those names of, the, of God so that we can just pray. And Lord, you are my El Shaddai. You are my Jehovah Jireh. You are my Jehovah Rapha. Yes. 
So it says here, and he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. It's sufficient. Amen. It means to say, the Lord is meeting our needs. Amen. Amen. So why are you always saying, I, I need more? I need more. That's already greediness. Yes. Yes, don't be greedy. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. Yes. What is the perfect weakness? Of who is perfect in our weaknesses? It's only the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Verse 10. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities. That's what Paul, I rather boast on my infirmities, on my weaknesses, because when I'm weak, the Lord is strength, strong. Yes. Amen. So I have to boast about, I mean to say, I have to acknowledge my sins. I have to acknowledge my, my, my wrongdoings, because God can only be my righteousness. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities and reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Amen. That time that we are so weak, then we are using Amen. God's strength. Amen. Amen. That's why the Lord said, if you are weak, pray Amen. quietly, like Nehemiah did. We have to pray and ask God to strengthen us that he will restore our weaknesses. We cannot restore our weaknesses if we don't ask from God. Mm -hmm. We have to pray, my brethren. We have to pray. It should be our, our lifestyle. Pray without ceasing. ceasing. When I say pray without ceasing, don't stop praying. Yes. Don't complain. But I'm working, Pastor. How could I pray? <laughs> Your hands are the one working. Your heart and your mind is not working. You can pray from your heart, from your mind. Amen. Yeah. So there is no excuses. Even when you're changing diapers to your patient, Lord, help me, Lord. <laughs> Amen. 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 Right? Even if you have a stubborn patient, Lord, help me that I can overcome this. You're praying. So you are praying, right? Yeah. Amen. So don't tell me you cannot pray without cease our 24-7. We can pray 24-7. Yeah. Hallelujah. It is our choice. Amen. Mm -hmm. Look at what Isaiah 40, 29 says. I know it's not there, sister. I just put it this morning. It says here, Isaiah 40, 29, when we are weak, the Lord says here, on this scripture, it says, he gives power to the weak. Mm -hmm. And to those who have no might, he increases his strength. How beautiful is yes. it? Yes. Yeah. When I am weak, I just have to kneel down and pray, Lord, I need your power. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I need your strength. Amen. So that is number one. What is our number one? Do you remember what that just said? What's that number one that we need to do? We have to reinforce our weaknesses. Mm -hmm. And number two, this is the most important also. Mm -hmm. Why it says, why it doesn't say focus on God. Why it says we focus on God. We were discouraged, right? We were discouraged. You were then out of focus on God. You were out of focus on God. Then you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ in your life. Mm -hmm. And then what happened? And became focused on God. Amen. Mm -hmm. But because of discouragement, because of the cares of this world. Like what the exhorter said, we are not from this world. We are in this because we are still in this human body. Amen. Amen. So it says here, Jesus Christ, the Lord, when we accepted the Lord Jesus Christ and become, became focused on him, but because of discouragement, you became out of focus. Mm -hmm. so, now, so now we need to refocus again mm -hmm. on him. We have to reset our mind again. We have to renew our mind. You will not, you cannot do things of God without renewing of your mind and your heart, like what Paul said. That we need to renew it day by day. It's not an overnight. Amen. We have to renew it day by day. It's like our sister saying, I don't have, who among you? Every one of us, I think, have encountered anxiety, stress, mm -hmm. and everything. But don't live with them. Anxiety is What's that? The stress, don't live with those things. But what we have to do is give them to the Lord. The Lord surrender. Amen. When you, you feel like 
uh, having anxiety, Lord, I bind that anxiety here on earth and it will be bound in heaven. Amen. Yes. Always do that prayer. If you have sicknesses, Lord, I bind these sicknesses here on earth and it will be bound in heaven. Yes. Amen. Because the enemy cannot do anything. So There's did. no weapons. Yeah. There's no weapon that forms that will prosper against us. Yeah. It doesn't prosper. Yes, there's a weapon, but it will not prosper. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you can overcome discouragement when you stop focusing on what you don't want to happen. Yeah. That's why be careful of what you pray. You're praying something that you don't want, then that's the more that the Lord will give you. <laughs> I don't want him to be my husband. What happened? He became, my he became your husband, right? <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Sometimes you are as discouraged as you want to be or as happy as you want to be. It is our choice, right? Nobody forcing you to be discouraged. The Lord don't want you to be discouraged. Even your enemy don't want you to be discouraged, but because your enemy is giving you something or temp this temptation, and then you are, what? Giving in to that temptation, and then it causes your discouragement. Mm -hmm. So it, it is our choice. You cannot say, Lord, why you gave me this? No. The Lord is not giving us any problem, but the Lord is allowing us circumstances so that we will test our faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. Are you holding on your faith when you are in trouble? Or are you giving up when you are in trouble? The Lord said that he is just a prayer away in yeah. times of trouble. That's in Psalms 91. So when Nehemiah became aware of the people's anxiety, he stood up and said, don't be afraid. It's like I'm saying, don't be afraid, my brothers and sisters. Yeah. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Always remember who is great and glorious and who is that, our big God. Amen. The God of all. The greatest name of all. Amen. Only the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, my brethren. Amen. Yes, you can ask your friends if they are godly, but sometimes if you ask those uh, unbeliever friends or ungodly, they will give you something that will discourage you. Right. It discourages you. So you better listen to the voice of God, the small voice. Mm -hmm. Listen to that when you're praying. So when we pray, we also have to stop. It's like when we're talking. I'm talking to Sister Joanne. Sometimes I will let Sister Joan stop so that she will also listen to me. You know, it's a give and take. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. So he encouraged his people to remember the Lord, meaning to refocus to God that they may remember his greatness. Mm -hmm. Every time you're discouraged, my brethren, always remember the greatness of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. why, can, why are you discouraged when the Lord gave you a new price of life? Yep. When a lot of people is no longer waking up in the morning. We are so blessed. And you know what? When we are blessed and the Lord supply us with this air that we breathe, then we have to make use of that life. Amen. Hallelujah. We have to serve God. We have to help expand this kingdom here on earth. Amen. We are his disciples. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when you are discouraged, just be reminded. It says here, be reminded of God's goodness and power. Amen. The power of money is nothing I was just telling, I don't know whom I was telling, I think yesterday I was telling that don't let the money enslave you. Yeah. But let that money to be your slave. Yeah. Hallelujah. When I say the money is enslaving you, it's like you're working, working, working for the money. But let that money work for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And don't we play, don't think, meaning, don't we play, don't think discourage, those discouraging images in your mind. Don't, don't, don't remember those. You know that you were already discouraged because of that. Then why do you always think about it? 
-hmm. Yes, don't, re don't even remember those things. Instead, choose to think about God. Mm -hmm. When you're about to think about your problem, then God, I know you are the answer. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It just happened to me that last week. Tomorrow will be the deadline of because you know what? When when this is the bad thing about it, when you fully paid your house, you have to pay your property taxes going up, going up. Yes. Yeah. So I have I, I almost forget they sent me an email. Your due date is on December twelfth. That will be Monday. Mm -hmm. And I have to pay half one thousand three hundred. And I have seven hundred in my account. What will I do, Lord? What I did? I just issue a check. I went to the, remember yesterday I went to the post office? Mm -hmm. Can you please stamp this so it won't be late? Because I do believe God will provide. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. That is the faith that we have. We don't see it, but we feel it. That it's coming. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Because you know why? That's why it says faith is being sure of what you hope for and certain of what you do not see. Mm -hmm. Because if you see it, then that's not hope. You're not hoping for something because you see it. Mm -hmm. That's why faith is hoping for something that you don't see. Because mm -hmm. why? Because you believe that the Lord will give that in the in due time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, if it is time, I'll keep it in yeah. the right Amen. time, in the right place. Yes. Yeah. And the Lord will give you wisdom how to do that. Yes. yes. Because without the wisdom of God, even though you have a lot of money around you, you don't know how to handle it, I don't think you can pay your bills. Yeah. Yeah. You just have to have that wisdom what to do. Yeah. That's why we have that faith. We walk by faith, not by sight. Amen. Amen. This church, what you was God? There's only three of us. Pastor preaching and the one listening, and we have one guitarist, Brother Alan. Mm -hmm. But I didn't look at, I didn't, I didn't uh, like, I, I, I um, applied that scripture by faith, not by sight. And I said to myself, I do believe that God, God is a God of multiplication. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. God is not a God of deduction or division. God is a God of multiplication. Yes. Why? He will multiply everything that you have. But we have to have that faith. Amen. Yes, my brethren, we have to have that faith. Don't replay discouraging images in your mind. Instead, choose to think about God. Like what Jonah says. Jonah, brother Jonah. <laughs> Jonah. I love your name. Yeah. That's why the Jonah, the Lord said to here. This Amen. is your enemy. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Your enemy is this church. Okay, what does it say? When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. See? So every time you're failing, remember the Lord. Amen. And my prayer went up to you. It went up to the Lord, into your holy temple. Amen. See, when Jonah was inside that big, uh, what's that? Fish, whale. 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 Mm -hmm. But see, look at that. If it, it's really a big whale, and then this whale uh, swallowed Jonah, and then he's dead, and all the bones are all cracked and everything, right? Mm -hmm. But no, the Lord has been protected. Jonah, yes. because the Lord has a purpose in his life and my brethren remember this we all have a purpose that's why the Lord is preserving our lives yes Amen. the Lord said I started you right I completed on the day when I come yes Hallelujah. so don't lose hope my brethren focus unto God Amen. the author and the finisher of our faith Jonah says, when he lost hope, he turned to the Lord. See? Same thing with us, my beloved. Brethren, when we are weak and lost hope, turn to God, who is our refuse in times of trouble. Amen. Amen. The Lord said, in times of trouble, I am the refuse. Amen. Remember that Psalms 91, 15 says, He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. See? You call upon the Lord and He will answer you. The reason that the Lord is not answering you because you're not calling unto Him. Yes. You forget to call. First you call somebody else before the Lord. <laughs>
He shall call upon me and I will answer him. Amen. I'll be with him in trouble. I'll deliver him and honor him. Amen. Hallelujah. What a very beautiful promise from God. Amen. You